Space Weather, Date March 10, 2014 Prepared jointly by the U.S. Department of Commerce, NOAA, Space Weather Prediction Center and the U.S. Air Force Updated 2014 March 9, 2200 hours UTC Joint U.S. Air Force NOAA Solar Geophysical Activity Report and Forecast, SDF No. 68, issued at 2200 hours UTC on March 9, 2014. Solar activity reached R1, minor, on the NOAA scales as active sunspot region 2002 produced an M1 flare on March 8 at 2341 UTC. Analysis of solar active regions and activity from March 8, 2100 hours UTC to March 9, 2100 hours UTC. Solar activity has been at moderate levels for the past 24 hours. The largest solar event of the period was a M1 event observed at March 8, 2341 UTC from region 2002, S1964. There are currently seven numbered sunspot regions on the disk. Geophysical Activity Summary March 8, 2100 hours UTC to March 9, 2100 hours UTC, the geomagnetic field has been at quiet levels for the past 24 hours. Solar wind speed, as measured by the ACE spacecraft reached a peak speed of 405 km per second at March 8, 2132 UTC. Electrons greater than 2 MeV at geosynchronous orbit reached a peak level of 148 PFO. Geophysical Activity Forecast The geomagnetic field is expected to be at quiet to active levels on March 10 and quiet to unsettled levels on March 11 and March 12. Solar Activity Forecast Solar activity is expected to be low with a chance for M-class flares on March 10, March 11 and March 12. Solar Flux 146 and Estimated Planetary A Index 3 The estimated planetary K index at 1800 hours UTC on March 10 was zero. Space weather for the past 24 hours has been minor. Radio blackouts reaching the R1 level occurred. Space weather by the Australian Bureau of Meteorology. Today's space weather, Monday March 10, last updated March 10, 1201 UTC. Low to moderate solar flare activity. Minor coronal hole effects possible. Light to possible moderate solar wind, dependent upon coronal hole solar wind stream arrival. Geomagnetic conditions are currently quiet, but may reach unsettled levels. Other than the possibility of a short wave fade, high frequency radio communications should be normal. So far the space weather. Over three days is a new forecast.